All right. <laughs> All right. I like how <laughs> cat jam, but all right, test. I saw that before I said it. We good. All right, all right. Papega. Oh, it's arrows. Tech speed f slow. Why does the sister have fuck me eyes? Papija. Run always. Is there other sound effects of time background? Alright, we'll do that. I turned it down to like 30%. Alright. The coffin of Andy and Lele. What? Brother and sister. Wait, what? F is fast. Okay, run. E and Z in space? This, oh, it don't, it don't matter which one I hit. Okay. So just shift, fast forward. All right, cool. RPG Maker, episode one. Layla, I don't want to. Well, I do. What the fuck is already happening, bro? Just go over. And what blank to blank blanket you? Did they was this in the game before, or do they do they have to? It's not enough letters. Fuck me to fucketh you. It's not an incest game. <laughs> what? Okay. What is I don't I don't know what she's saying. I actually don't know what she's saying. Spilled. Unscramble that shit, bro. I thought she's your friend. <clears throat> okay, mom said you'd help me with anything. Okay. We'll get in trouble. Alright. Good morning, Ashley. Nice. The bot so far behind. Ugh. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it's time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. Oh, it's live. Massive delay. Oh, okay, okay. Is there shit on the floor? Nutrients as in semen, bro. Holy shit. HB's already played this. Two streams one day. All right, used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Inside the cabinets is nothing. Okay. What about coffee? The coffee machine sits alone, sad and abandoned. Double strain now. All right. Just like real life, actually true. There's only so many times you can brew the same grounds. So no more coffee in this house. Bro, I had a, I had a roommate that had let someone live there rent free and then was living there. And one of their points to advocate when uh, it came up about money or whatever, and then, you know, fucking up the whole ecosystem because they were living there and not paying. They're like, I don't even use coffee. I reuse the grounds. And I was just like, that is not, that shit does not count. We're in the same grounds all week. Junk and disgusting, bro. Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. Okay. Okay, where's the actual food at then? Garbage. This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. Coffee bean ball sweat. Oh wait, what is that? I got a can of tomatoes. Amazing. You should show that to your brother. What? How'd they get in there? Where's he at? Hello? He's showing the tomato can. 
Ta-da. All right. He's not enthusiastic about this. Not the reaction you're hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da. I'm about to buy. We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. What are they doing here? Quit your complaining. Oh, bro, the older brother's a shithead, bro. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. Oh, gasp. Wow. I live in a den of snakes. Holy shit. Ah, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. Put these nuts in your mouth? Don't say that. I can see that your heart is set on this. This is Bob's dream life. Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Bonds does. All right, time for to go cook some tomatoes. All right, watch this shit. I'm gonna cook the fuck out of these tomatoes. In the trash lay your hopes and dreams. Damn, exactly where they belong. God damn. All right. That's brutal, bro. Oh shit, the warden. Good day, are you still alive in there? What? Hello? Don't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. Oh my god, she teleported over there. You don't bring it to the living either. Ha, huh, I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can you go grab something from the store for us? They can't leave? I feel like these people don't shower. This brother and sister, they don't shower, bro. They're filthy. Nah, not my job. I'll check on, in on you again later. Bye. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Come back. He doesn't. God damn it. Wait, I thought he was going to bring food. What the fuck did he even stop by to tell him he's not bringing food? These two smell fucking terrible. Feces scattered, scattered all of out. Actually, they're literally just pooping here. Where's the bathroom at? A mop. Detergent. Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. All right, let's go cook these tomatoes before they do something they should. <sighs> All right. You boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. Oh, that's fucked. Use all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Holy shit, that's five head. I got salt right here. It's coming up, bro. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms, and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate kiss ass no i'm saying that's how hungry i am Oof. it is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums are you kidding me the neighbor's at it again want to go take a peek no but i'll come along if you do here catch We've got balcony key unlock the balcony door oh shit that's right. Y'all, y'all have money for cigarettes, but y'all have money for food. There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. What? Hmm. Can't really see squat from here. Damn back. Contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Ah, he's no fun. Kiss face. I guess you want to set something up to cross. Oh, really? Chair? Why the fuck? Okay. The couch? The freezer is completely empty. Uh, I actually don't know what we could use for this. The parents have fucked on this bed. Jesus Christ. Where are they at? 
Oh crap, are you alright? These goddamn DIY shelves, I, s I swear. Got a wooden plank. Oh, yo, five head, bro. I was not even thinking that. All right, perfect. Hell yeah. Sit down the wooden plank. All right, I'm going over. All right, let's take a peek. Planked. Oh, hell no. Oh, demons from hell? Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones. I come seeking your advice, Prage. Okay. Is it working? Summon red. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. What? We should probably go. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time to let us watch TV? Let's take another peek. Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. The boxes are full of useless junk. Okay. All right, well, we should probably take this plank back, right? We can't. Tell her she's got nice tits. TV time. Ah, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Nah, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. Jesus Christ. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah. Woe is you. It is. I have to get batteries for this fuck? Bro. Chat. She's 12. Hey, sis. Nice tits. A VHS player. Cannot be eaten. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. What is this? A bunch of rented movies. The due dates passed ages ago. But what can you do? All right. Batteries. The coffee maker? This thing run on batteries? The alarm clock. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Got batteries. Nice. All right. What is that stain on that pillow? Oh my God. I've got the remote right here. Nah, it's okay. I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. Oh my God. I can see you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope. I've decided to hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being difficult about this? I am not. I am take I'm wait what? I'm taking on the Herculean task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. Oh my goodness. They are adults. That's what I said. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water have been delivered have been secured. Oh, what? It's been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll now is at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. But I've been chugging water. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? Oh, we're stuck in the house. To our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. Okay, so we're locked down. I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Wait, Mom, where are you going? It's a dream. Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom... Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyways, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. What the fuck? All right, this won't hurt a bit. There's sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker. There we go. And now you. Goodbye, mom. How, how long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. So it's been three months. Mom got hit by a bus. That's all for now. Take care. I'll call mom. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. 
I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, like, they moved into a new apartment? That's not a hotel. Or is it talking about this one? Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Bro, fuck mom, bro. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Mom of the year, bro. After reminiscing, reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, mom of the ER. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Come socks, picked up some laundry. Come shirt, picked up some laundry. More. Oh, uh oh. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Holy shit. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Kind of think of it. Do we have, even have any detergent left? I think so. Because I was going to drink it. Actually, <laughs> you're a waste of laundry. What is this shit? You're not going to get this clean with your bare hands. Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, detergent. Got detergent. All right, you run the laundry. Now what else could you clean? Let's get the mop. Got a mop. All right. That actually started right above the door in the house, too. Yay! Out of some dirt. Is it, though? Is it dirt? But she's cleaning the fuck out of this house. We gotta do some of this trash. Let's just throw it off the balcony. What else is there to take care of? The trash, right? This trash. The books. Clean up some books. All right. Let's go see what the neighbor's doing. You returned all the books to the shelf. Oh no, the power's going out. Oh, she's, she's dying? You're feeling dizzy. Oh shit. Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to overdo it. Dead, bro. Okay. Good news. Once again, some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you? I hope that clears things up a bit. What the fuck? Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be, you drift back into unconsciousness. Jesus Christ, bro. They're killing people out here. No wonder mom can't fucking come over. That's why she's not here. You're too tired to get the phone. Andrew, hello? Of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone's talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. You sound more and more upset as they talk though. Well, that's, I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I could try talking to her, but no. Or I mean, yes, but that doesn't, no, I'm not angry. I'm just, no, I, can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Female voice. Always about, you don't, lay and Ashley, and had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then. Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for... What? A faint beep, beep uh, of a drop call can be heard. Ah. That was mom, right? Sigh. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? 
His tag's sticking up. How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite infested homebody that's apparently perma quarantined. But it's, the, it's just a COVID arc somewhere in the United States. Or because you found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Perma tilted. Jesus Christ. Fire. <laughs> what? All right. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might have been something more tactful to say. Perma tilted, bro. Whatever. You print to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Isn't that how it usually goes? You just practice dying. You just practice being not alive until you go to sleep. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure she's checking your brother. Do they have AC in here? If it comes out that they don't have AC in here, they're sitting here, no food, no AC, can't leave the house. Fuck that shit, bro. Oh, wait, what? Where is he at? Why does he have two deaths? Perma swamp ass. Bro, fuck that. Like during a hurricane when the power's out, actually perma swamp ass inside your house. Oh no, he's taking a shower, isn't he? That would be awful. Oh, oh he's got the cigarettes, bro. That fuck. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. What? People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. <laughs> Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. Or he died. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. That's true. And what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Yeah, how, how would they? I mean, they wouldn't know. What, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Parasite, baby? Yeah, maybe. Mm. Think they'd bring me food if I got... Huh? No. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Holy shit, what's happening, bro? <laughs> well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Oh, okay. The It's the neighbor. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought. Jackass. I'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. But you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours. Oh, this is they have a shared bedroom. I I really I just realized. Or maybe a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. She don't look like it. What are we gonna do today? Oh hell no, she's not bursting with energy. What? Dies of Chantry? Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Yeah, what the fuck's going on? Did he leave? He's unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you gonna try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What am I, What else am I supposed to do? Oh shit. If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Yeah, they haven't brought any food in days. Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, bang on the door, or next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. Is this like, is this just the fucking apartment owner? This is the landlord? The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Oh my god, unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. In 
and see you did that absolutely nothing was delivered sigh talk about something I got nothing try Jesus actually Pepe lost bro so parasites it's been a few months are you feeling anything hunger you think something would be happening to us by now but I haven't noticed anything the nurse never came back either like don't you want to monitor us Ugh, who cares me Ashley I care well I don't care nor care that you care aside from the starving it's not so bad here come again aside from starving I like it here I mean that's true well I don't I want to jump off the balcony holy shit he's gonna kill you oh I'll race you haha <laughs> okay <laughs> no seriously let's go let's not though I appreciate your eagerness to join me but it's a bit too romantic so I'll pass excuse me what you don't see it just imagine hitting the ground together and with such force our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush never to be separated our remains would get so tangled up they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin might as well we've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already i'm not jumping off the balcony with you get your head checked i should get my head checked or i should get my head checked and no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. Those are your plans for romance. Gee, pure sexual tension. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Oh, fuck. Neighbor popping off. Romantic just means something is. The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I wish he just. Holy shit, he did something. Yo, successful ritual, bro feel like you should check up on that all right let's go he did it oh hell no that's not what i would want to see my lord you've come he's coming bro and you're uh a little smaller than i imagined oh piss him off i love it it's better than i imagined that's all i meant he got what he needs bro what do you offer, human? Oh, um, I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Oh, Jesus. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Holy shit. <laughs> He's gonna kill. <laughs> they might be just what he needs. Uh-oh. Darkness clouds your vision, and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. I didn't get stabbed to death. He got him out of here. He did get out of here, but not like that. We can eat him. I mean, we can call someone. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Uh, all right. Oh, it's first instinct to eat that dead man. So, uh, am I already delirious? Or did you see that too? Do we, um, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? That's actually, that's actually true. That shit's going to go till the batteries fucking die. You eat him ass. Oh, Bio's playing the incest, playing the incest game. Keep calling people. I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. I start fucking making hallways between the fucking apartments. Wait, what? Infinite food hack. Oh, shit. Eat him, call someone, tell, tell them someone ate him. And then eat that person. Holy shit. All right, wait. Uh, well, I'm not. There's gotta be something this guy has that we can eat. Oh, that's fucking true. Burglary time. Shut up. Let's get in there. All right, let's fucking do this shit. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Okay. What? 
Okay, we're gonna break. Oh, the bat. Okay, bash in. Yes, ashtray. Ashtray. Eat dead person. Call someone. Tell them this person got eaten. Eat the person that shows up. Actually, infinite food echo. So they fuck. <laughs> no, bro. It's not an incest game. Door unlocked. Alright. This is, this is the. This is the fucking. Maybe we shouldn't go in the center of this, right? Okay, I'll, I'll turn this off. All right, here we go. No fucking in this game, just uncomfortable sexual tense. Then why am I even here? Oh shit. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. Holy shit, bro. Eat his ass, bro. How would you even cook an ass? Like, <laughs> she wants the dick? How would you even, bro? Like, if you had to, bro, and it was completely acceptable in those moments, we're eating people, like, it's that time of the end of the world, whatever, right? Like, I'm dying. Like, someone you know is dying, and you're like, just eat me, bro, so you can keep going. How would you cook up a good ass? A <laughs> the fucking cry <laughs> Just your fucking cheeks right on the top, bro? Oh, my God. It's all, it's mostly fat, though. Right? Well, no, they... I mean, they could have some good muscle in there. Slow cook them ass. No way. What? Out loud, apparently. Oh, I said it out loud. Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Huh? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him. Isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Ah, but we can't. <clears throat> if we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. That's true. You gotta put the donk on the grill. Holy shit, that'd be crazy, bro. What's that one sausage called? I can't think of it now. Whatever that one sausage type that but it's penis i think just messing with the corpse of crime too well i think they should look past it given that there's nothing else to eat will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though and before that you're gonna tell them a demon killed him really that'll fly oh that's true we don't know how he died oh my god there's a fucking meat cleaver up there yeah we're, we're probably gonna get blamed for this anyway I mean, with the cult shit, that might... I don't know. All right, listen. You're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Damn, bro. Three months? Barely getting enough food? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Um, um, yeah. All right, then. Let's find something to butcher him with. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Nah, bro. The... Bro, it's gonna be a fucking mess. Cock it like you would. Got a cleaver. All right, here we go. Cleaver equipped. So, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop off the cultist. Is he a righty or a lefty? Because that means that oh, one of those arms oh. is what he used to jerk off with more than, more often. And we could eat the other one first. That other one's got to be fucking cooked to, you know, a good temperature. All right, well, I'm doing left arm. Oh, my God, it's gone. Next up is right arm. Fun fact of the day. Oh, there it is. Why did they just throw it over there? We can't carry him out. Out in the open like this. Yeah, y'all should have took the body first. Or, I don't know, chopped it all up and then taken it. Fuck it, just cook him here. Just be quick about it. No, can you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, guys. Dude, dude there'd be so much blood. Cook him arm. I'm counting on you, Andy. Andy? Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. All right, good luck, brother. Before I go get the bags, I just want to take a look in here. The bathroom smells of feces, and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. What about his front door? 
I might share too much with you guys. <laughs> Just as locked as your door. All right, what about? Found 666 and 66 cents bucks. Interesting. But we didn't even check the fridge. We immediately went to eating this guy and we never checked to see if he had food. We didn't we didn't even try at all, bro. We just immediately caved. But the fridge and freezer is empty. But that's actually fucked. We didn't even check to see if he had food. We just started cutting arms off. Well the window being broken with the guy being dead. It's gonna get it's gonna get back to us. We should put the plank on the neighbor's porch. Really uh set him off the trail. Well yes, these are perfectly suitable plastic bags. They're also full already. You'd rather not carry the meat you're about to eat inside a used trash bag. Find something else. Like bed sheets. Can we use bed sheets? No. I mean, is they in the cabinets? Were they supposed to be? Crying. <laughs> the bot's off. I had to save FPS. Turn trash bags inside out. Five head, bro. Pillowcases. What is this? There's an old drawing in the drawer. It says Andy and Lele and the very, very quiet in all capital letters. What? What's the red line? And is that a bag? Use his stomach lining as a carrying bag. That would actually probably be pretty good. No, sorry. It's Andy and Lele in the very, very quiet. As your original vision clearly intended it. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. All right, we need some fucking bags, bro. We gotta get this fucking meat cooked. All right, I don't know. Um, well, sh okay, oh, the laundry room, duh. Yeah, they probably got in here. Got some plastic bags. All right, hell yeah. Should we bring them up? Andrew must return this here. Okay. Oh, bucket. Nah, I guess we'll just use the bags. There's no way these fucking bags hold this. Oh my god, bro. Jesus. Got left arm. Got left leg. Got right leg. And now we got right arm and head. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over? Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Watch and learn. What? Yeah, see, if anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, look, this isn't going to... Ta-da! Fold him ass. Oh my god. No, bro. Good god, no. Don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. Alright, alright. Enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. We don't even have seasoning. Yeah, you'll cook quite. Uh, you'll cook quite the something. Bro, we don't even have seasoning. We have like barely any pepper. We might have used it all. We don't have any salt. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, did I have to pick some up? I thought I had all the arms. I just need to deal with this. What did you put him dick in him ass and cook a chantry surprise? Okay, it said I gotta go hook some, but I'm gonna have to smoke it. I don't understand. Why can't I? What am I missing here for the cooking? Whoops. What am I missing? Place the severed limbs in the freezer. Oh, fuck. My bad. All right. Time to cook. All right. 
you fry some meat. Dinner's ready. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Right. So what are we having here? It's right. Leg has more yum yum on it. I wouldn't even think about it. I thought I was putting it. I don't know what I was doing. I thought I was putting it all in the freezer. Pure, pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Oh God, bro. All right, munch, munch. Huh? What? Oh, you already, okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. Ooh. I don't think he likes it. It begins retching. No, you don't. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Swallow. All of it. Oh, my God, bro. Gulp. Well, well. How is it? It's... Good God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. Bro, there's nothing in this. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. What the fuck? Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, all right? Just just give me a minute. Is the fan off in here? It's so fucking hot in here. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. She makes him gag, bro. Oh, my God. Good boy. I'm so proud. Just fuck off, Ashley. Jesus Christ. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We got a very limited set of spices left. But what do you think I should try next? Uh, I don't know. Maybe coriander? All right. I'll try that tomorrow, then. Yeah, he didn't eat that. I'm off to bed now. Night, night. Yeah, good night. Bro, we just ate a person casually as fuck, bro. So she, his wife or sister? His sister. She's even strong wife vibe. You fall asleep. Fully content with your life's decisions. Lele. Okay. Blank said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So you're gonna be her to be her boyfriend? Gross. No. Layla is Layla is her name. Okay. I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. What the fuck? Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? Ha ha ha. Okay, somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person for that matter. Jesus. Screw you. I am the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm going to take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. God damn, bro. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. Haha, <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Layla, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can't be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. <laughs> okay. Do it, Andy. I guess. What? Hooray! You're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Layla in the Bitch in a Box. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, one day you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. Jesus Christ. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play. And when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. What the fuck, bro? I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. Oh my God. 
We're out here doing this shit. Okay, what is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Oh no. This is where their sibling arc. Oh my god, she's here. Finally. Huh? What are you doing here? Or what are you doing here? Surprise, I want to hang out too. Oh. Bro, maybe a psych warp is here. Yeah, she's fucked, bro. Just a little game. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No? Why? Haha, <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? Get out of there! <laughs> it means she's full of crap, don't listen. So are we gonna- are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. What the fuck? Take the hammer. Can we go up? Oh yeah, yeah, through here. The drop off on the other side of the window is too high. Though I wouldn't mind convincing uh, Blank to jump anyway. To maybe twist her ankles? Maybe break her neck? Something wrong? Nah, but we can't go in this way. Okay. Well, let's hero uh, this shutter. Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay. I won't tell anymore. Or anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh. Even though it's this flimsy? Yes. I I like smart guys over beefy ones. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's clueless, bro. Yeah, the hammer. Who asked? She's clueless. All right. A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful to us in this situation. I sure can. As in, help us get in the warehouse? Oh, okay, yeah. In that case, no. Ugh, Layla. I don't even want to know what you had in mind. I had the hammer. What are you guys talking about? Chatterito crash. It's nothing. Let's keep looking. All right, I had the, I had the, I picked up the hammer. Did I fucking? Okay, yeah. Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Jesus Christ, we're in. Cough. Wow, it sure is <laughs> kind of dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. Oh my God, she's gonna die in here. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know, how about some hide and seek? Uh, you're such a kid. Huh? And he wants to play too. You do? What? Oh yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. All right, I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. I thought she she need we needed her to hide though. Hundred, count to a hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two. All right, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect, Layla. You promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Oh no, this box? Oh no, this will do. There's any lock on it though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't. Place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, no, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come. Oh crap, she counts too fast. Wasn't that fast, really. Aha, uh -huh. okay, let's hide, hide. Fuck, hide in the box? Right here? Uh, this container's already full, god damn it. This crate can't be closed. Well, fuck, she's coming, bro. God damn it. Okay, right here? Okay, perfect. Where do we get a stick anyway? Andy picks up uh, whatever wooden debris debris is at his feet. Debris? Debris? I guess this will do. Uh, okay. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No, who do you think, dumbass? Uh, she's fine, I guess. Jesus Christ. Oh, they found her. 
Okay, they found them. Found you. Both of you. We went in the same spot. Idiots. I. It was my spot first. Then you're it. No way. Andy stole my spot, so he is it. Yes, yes. I'll go count. Oh, she's dead. And he goes to count outside. Hehe, <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Um, okay. Bro, what the fuck? Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo hoo, who cares? My mom does, she'll get mad if I... 100. Oh shoot, he's coming, hurry, hurry. Er, uh, okay. Oh no. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Hup. Huh? What was that? Hehehe, <laughs> I got you now. Blank is too weak to throw you off the lid. That's why the mom fucking hates her, bro. She killed someone as a kid. She dies of fucking asthma, bro. Dies of asthma. Cough. This isn't funny. Ashley, let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. Cough, cough. I can't breathe. Oh, my God, bro. Is she all right? Oh, no. Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Layla. Layla. Lele. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. Oh, gosh. She's fucking choking in there. Come on. Just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine. You let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? She's dying in there. Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better too. Bet everybody does. I already know. Oh my god. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you. I don't want... Oh, no. And I bet... I bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. She stopped coughing. Well, that's... I mean, maybe she did, but... Bro, she's dead. She's dead. It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lily. Prove it, liar. Sigh. I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say... Huh? Wait, la, la, la. Talk sure is cheap. God damn it. Oh, no, bro. Oh, my God. A Ashley... Oh, there. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes. You're the best. I like you the best, Andy. Oh, my God. You hear that? You get to stay here there until morning. No, please. <sighs> Ashley, let me out, please. Ashley, wait. Don't go. Ashley, please. Ashley. Ashley? Who the fuck is Ashley? Wait, why was you saying Ashley? Are you awake? I thought her name was Lele. Oh, they just oh that's the shorthand of Ashley. I'm fucking dumb. I am now. Um, okay. What is it? Nothing. It's just God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner? Oh, this is now. Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. He did too! What else are you supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Ah, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I. we wouldn't have to, had to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What? What? What the hell? Did we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh, whoosh. There goes my magic wand. There. I've absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. 
Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in, <laughs> holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can we be excused? It's the water company's fault. That's, yeah. That, was, that checks out. First, they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Ah, oh, damn. They're fucked. There, there, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just... Uh, like, kept cutting around, and then pulled it off. Like some plant. I don't know. I keep thinking about it. I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. Oh, no. It's happening! I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Ashley. <laughs> oh, that's fucking... That's fucked, bro. That's not funny. Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Holy shit. Andrew. Andrew. Andy. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Why, why, mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Holy shit, bro. Make me, you little bitch. Forget this. Hey, Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy's and Lele's quest for something or another, remember? Why, why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation. Then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like, I can tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, let's just... Just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like, we should have done months ago. Yeah, true. I don't know why I don't just fucking leave. Now we've got food. Don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in a prison? Oh my god, bro. Ah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lele and they escape from the coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. She's nuts, bro. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My God, I don't love you that much. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. Holy shit. All right, too bad. Diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. Oh, God, she's laughing maniacally. Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients, and you're feeling mighty better today. But didn't we, like, eat more parasites? Oh, oh, there's a note. Oh, he dipped. There's a note stuck to the door. It reads, Awaiting thy arrival back at the cultist lair, Andy. Ah, I knew he'd come around. Though for a moment there, I honestly thought this is going to be a suicide note. That's what I thought. Well, no matter. Let's see what he's up to. Bro, where is this going? I don't even know what the hell the fuck this dude... I have no idea. What are you doing over here? Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah, so they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take you want to ask one to get us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then. What will we bargain with? I don't know that either. 
Nice. I don't know what they could. Yeah, what? Well, I don't know what they could give that thing. All right, I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's got to be that. Where do you get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Oh my god, she's gonna take a soul, bro. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? Good night, Bob. Good luck tomorrow at work. I hope you're enjoying the game. Yeah, they, this game's cool. We'll, it's, uh... We'll see. We'll see what's uh I don't know what they're what's gonna happen here. We summon a demon. We get out of here? We go to prison and get railed? The possibilities are actually endless here. Alright, let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. All right, candles. Got two candles. Place candle. We're gonna need another candle. Oh. Okay, we're done. Never mind. Done. What now? Now we. Oh. Oh shit, bro. Still alive and kicking, are you? Oh, yeah. If he would have died and we didn't do all the blood, they would have just thought he's doing some weird shit and still died from the parasites, right? Who wouldn't have thought he got murdered in some other way? Cause he'd look fine. A demon killed him. I don't know if there's like wounds. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Start the CD player. Sigh. Yeah. Hi. Hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked, but he's just a B type anyway. What does that mean? Fine. I'll check it after my round. The one's supposed that moves away from the door. He's going to our house. He's just a B type anyway. Yeah, what the fuck? Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit. He's going to come in and see all this. No, 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 no. All right, enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still going to find a guy missing unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No. <laughs> Go before he notices we're not home and keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. I don't know, dude. There should be a corpse below then. Just yeah, eat the corpse off, right? That shit will splatter, bro. I mean, it, it exploded. You get to be, uh, wait, you get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. All right. Hold on, turn the fucking music on. I'm telling you, bro. How do I, what are you gonna do? Lick it clean? Get the mop, you dumb bastard. Jesus Christ. The mop from the other house? All right, the bathroom, the bathroom. No. <laughs> it just said no. Is he in here? The mop, the mop, the mop. All right, I got the mop. I'm going, I'm going. I mean, there's other issues here besides just this blood. And there's no way the blood would clean that easy. I'm be honest. Ashley, the warden is coming. Oh! I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Okay. Did I fuck up? Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon... Oh, I did I fuck it up? That's some bullshit, bro. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Holy shit, I fucked it up. I think I seen a high behind that bookshelf. Okay. What do I do? Lock the door. What 
What do I do? Okay, I hid in the closet. Greetings and salutations. Don't walk in the middle of that. Huh? Anybody home? Oh, great. Another suicide. What the? You're fucking kidding me. How did you get in here? Why did he check that ship? Oh my god! Oh, what? He did it? Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. Or I didn't. He took the thing. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Layla. Let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. What the fuck? We have more food. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. So where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep out of this one, huh? Jesus, bro. This is all fucked up. Actually, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I... Oh, looky here. The key to room 405. Oh. Wait, is that this one? We're out of here. At last. You unlock the door, in. What? Whoa, what's happening? Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? The point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of, went, of what went down here to anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. It'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes ar looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find, go find mom and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I didn't plan on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities? Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant uh, flippin about this, uh, it, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? He's going to kill you. Are you threatening me? Oh, <gasps> What's happening? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? What the fuck? It's... I'm stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm, all good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad, or any of my so-called friends anymore. Now, one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls, or come fling food up to our balcony. It would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha. <laughs> but it's alright, because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. I feel like... I feel like Skelly would love this game. I don't know why that just came into my head. 
You would love this. All right, all right. Let's get the hell out of here already. Oh, shit. We're out. This is all it took to keep us, to keep us in a wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. What a doormat. Fuck off. That is a good doormat. Ah, whatever. What's this slip of paper say? Paper slip taped on the door reads 2XAB. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, AB. The blood type. Don't know. Don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Okay. Unblock the door. Oh, I can go back in the house. Oh, I mean, fuck that. Another 2XA, 1XB. Damn, we got three people in there. One X O, but it's crossed over. Should we go in here? We got a key to room 302. Oh, what? Look here, they got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, it looks like it's uh, recording the second floor. Let me see. Oh shit. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope, you'll need a key to the cultist room and walkie-talkie. Okay, maybe we should get that walkie-talkie then. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep uh, curious people away and pretend to feed us, I guess. <laughs> Sus gun. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me, just go down the stairwell. Ah, oh, there's a key here. Fourth floor key. It's the toilet. There's nothing of interest inside. All right. Half eaten cup of noodles. We're not looking for food anymore. Note in the fridge reads notice. From now on, AB types won't be getting supplies, except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. Oh, they were starving us. Holy shit. 302. Oh, we got 302. Hold on, walkie talkie. He's still dead. Damn, we could have like summoned the demon or some. He could have took their souls. All right, so we're out of here. Go to third floor. I thought he was on, what floor was he on? He was on this one. Probably gonna have to hide. Oh, what the fuck? 302, hottie? Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbor's from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? Why don't you understand? You, you don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. Oh, bro, they're giving her food, bro. Even though she's AB. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait, they actually bring you food? Of course, literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like bend over and open wide nicely? Holy shit. Ashley. Fuck you, get out, both of you. Let's kill her. Leave before I make a scene. Okay, well, I don't, I'm not trying to call it. Let's raid our fridge. It's full of food. Those fucks. Hey, did I give you my permission to go there? Unplug her fucking TV. A nail gun. Oh, she's fucking in here assembling furniture? Check her ass. Uh, well, that was something. How come I got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough? You think she's pretty? Oh my god, bro. I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not. But you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second one comes in and shoots us. This is so hopeless. We can hit her with a nail gun. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm. If we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got us a soul to offer. What the fuck? How are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. All right. 
What the fuck? Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? That's fucked up. Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh yeah, okay, fair point. Now I wouldn't let them anyway. Why can't we just keep going down the stairs? It's a stairwell. They're not watching the stairs. Well, let's check this other note. I thought he was on the third floor. I thought he was here. Yeah, that's it. When they, it's crossed over. Damn, why did they take out the elevators? The guy working can't even fucking use the elevators to walk all these fucking stairs. Yeah, so we can't get down there. What was in here? Oh, yeah. All right, this could be an issue. We gotta get rid of the body. All right, what do we have to do to finish this? All right, so what's need to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes in the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Okay. So I have to cut myself? Huh? The rune is faded out. Oh, fuck. With what? With blood? Oh, with this guy's blood? You double check if this warden also has a gun tucked away somewhere. But all you find is the walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Use Bio's anal blood. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal. At that point, we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. The whole coming guns blazing. Oh, right. Let me think. All right, while he's at it, you dip your fingers into the dead warden's wound. Got blood. It got blood. Got blood? Got milk? All right, I have an idea. You ever wipe too hard and bleed a bunch? Not a bunch. You bled a bunch? Jesus Christ, bro. I don't know about that. Not a bunch. Oh, like a lot, a lot. Holy shit. Chance he's wiping his ass at sandpaper, bro. Like, light spotting. That's about it. I have an idea. Oh, all right. Yeah, when I was a sick, when I was sick, oh, I, I remember. Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie talkie. Did you use 20 grit? Change to 30. Wicked shit. All right, so we can lure her up here with a walkie dog. All right, and uh, how are we gonna do make her do that? You know how. Ha, all right then, let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? How do we convince her? Tell us she's gonna get food or what? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, we wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. All right, let's go get her. All right, what's some of your stew? Honestly, I've been stewing forever. If it causes bleeding ass. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no, that was weeks ago, maybe months. Jesus, stew so good it makes you bleed out of your ass in the past. At the very least, slap the best gear I could on. Oh, what the fuck? I thought you were talking about asses and bleeding for a second. I was like, what did you do? Okay, here we go. You two again. Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Holy shit, we're getting there. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me. Holy shit. Oh my god, what's gonna happen now is that you'll coo, a, you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? 80 to 12 inch logs. Huh? Tell him that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand, we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. Press the walkie-talkie on. Hello? Huh, who's there? 
Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. Well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. Holy shit. Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't buzz. Bro, man is depressed. Um, Nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. All right, good. Let's go. I let go over now. And what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything. I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet. Huh? What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh, I'm doing this one. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Layla, catch. Andrew throws you something. Got lighter. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. Oh, I'm here. How's he going to get her up here? Turn on the audio. Am I ready? I'm supposed to wait, aren't I? Do I have the walkie-talkie? I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm just light the candle and turn on the music. Okay, yeah, that's it. All right, let's do this shit. So now what am I supposed to? Oh my God, he showed up quick as fuck. Ah, uh, something is here. Whoa, are you? I can't see. You were asking me my name, human? Uh, what do you offer? Oh, yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's here. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shock. The warden reaches for his gun. Ah, him. I offer him. All we got is the fucking demon's name, though. I wonder if that's like a power thing. Once you know the demon's name, you can control him for free. What? What the? Ah! Oh, he did. So, uh, well, how is it? Human with tar-colored soul. I give you this. What? Tar-colored soul? Got unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream. To gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. Oh, shit. I can see the future. The entity is left. And you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. We have so much fucking food, bro. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. Oh, well, it don't matter now he's dead. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently a viscous, pitch black mess. Well, that's fucked. Guess you already knew that. Damn, RP. Oh, I have a gun. I have a gun, bro. At last, time to shoot Andy. What? Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady, though. Oh, my God. This game is sketch, bro. It's sus. Third floor. All right. Kill Andy? I mean, would you kill all of us for clairvoyant dreams? No. Oh, I mean... What is clairvoyant dreams? Every dream I can see the future? Honestly, for the most part, that'd be boring as shit. I just have a normal ass day. Like, oh, glad I dreamed that and I lived an extra day in my life. I guess it would come in handy one day, right? Then, I don't know. <laughs> You'll see what you'd be doing at work. I know, it'd be so fucked, bro. I guess you can get ahead that way, right? Oh, I saw what I did at work to overcome some problem. And I just did it immediately. Like, skipped all the steps. But if it's a clairvoyant dream where you have to act out the dream, the day in your dream, that sucks. I've had those before. So when do we get the incest? Help me, I'm stuck. <laughs> Shit. I hope soon. I don't know, bro. Oh my god, she's dead. 
Sadly, sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. We can leave now, right? No, we still can't get downstairs, but that guy got upstairs? He, no, he had a key. We can leave now. She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let her go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. Jesus. What are you getting at? All, dude, she's always on to him. You did say she was pretty. Oh my god. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Oh my god. Andrew shoots his load? While I risk getting shot by the warden. Bruh. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess you said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. I don't know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? F. Was there an actual F? What? I didn't drop any. Any, uh... Yeah, there's no drops on my end, though. So, I don't know what the fuck that is. Alright, I'm not so... What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch, and the rest of the world disappears. Bro. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Oh. oh my god. Bob fucking put this game on, bro. Bob told me to play this shit. And, every, and we all thought it was in, an incest game between a brother and a sister. Which doesn't make me pick it or anything. <laughs> but it was... It's been all over Twitter and stuff. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <It's> actually... <laughs> that was actually your face. Alright, not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. Now, it's definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Oh, my God, bro. Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, where the fuck is the incest, bro? There is no incest. It was supposed to be bait. I actually thought it was bait. Blow it out your ass. Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after he harassed the hell out of her or something. What, she told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. Jesus. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. Now I want to play Duke Nukem 3D. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here, where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. Ha, huh. and I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. <laughs> what is this game, bro? 10 out of 10 game. Oh, for Duke Nukem. Where'd that come from? I, fuck, what a prime example of your you, just you. You would. You would. Wait, what? I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can just for you, you know? I have just the thing for that. Back of your, back of your beck and call, just like it was way back when. Oh my god. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to, with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want, then? Well, see, if you'd have listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? Jesus, bro. But they can leave now. 
I've done nothing but spent time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Ugh, of course we are. Just forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What are we about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, my God. He's going to kill her. Or she's going to kill him. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. You also killed her. And guess what? Andy, don't. You chose to lock blank in that crate where the fucking cunt choked. Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy. My poor Andy. Oh my god, that girl did die. So, that just came out. That girl did fucking die. What? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. Oh, wait. F? Oh, actual F. Fuck. <laughs> actual F. Okay. That's so weird. It doesn't show it anywhere on my uh, thing. I can only see it in the bitrate thing. I can see it's going up. That's so weird. They're not in sync, my bitrate. And it's not showing any losses. See, incest, they're about to fuck. Okay, you chose me, me. You backpedaling fuck of a brother. You chose me, you did. You did, <laughs> it's happening. Oh my God. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. She's laughing, bro. You won't. You can't, because I'm the only one you can talk to. <laughs> when you can't sleep at night and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. What? This is what I need. Fancy that. When you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like blank did of course not i want to leave this apartment before we get caught with you can we go i'd like to go too but the thing is you're pissing me off so much right now we go now and you'll just throw another fit later yeah i probably will i'll make such a scene too yeah so i don't know if i can risk it maybe i'll just end you here and be done with it though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to i won't well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. But if you plan on dishing me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Oh my god, bro. I don't give a shit about Blank. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Our quest continues. What do we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Lele like you wouldn't believe. Huh? Huh? It's just the emote was there. She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. Oh my god. Bruh. All right, 
right, let's get out of here, Andrew. All right, so we're out. It's Raider, Raider fridge. Dead as stone. Your happiness is immeasurable. Nail gun? Okay, I bet you, so we still have to get through another floor. Damn, I thought I was gonna be able to beat this. It may be close, but. What about, yeah, we still have to use the clairvoyant thing. I bet you're gonna have to use that to get. Yeah, we still have second and first floor. We're close, but we can jump this. We can jump to the bottom. Aha, look, an open window. Great, jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it, isn't there like a rope or something we use to climb down? Okay, I have the camera. What if we climb down the window using this carpet? Oh yeah, true. I'm not sure how we're gonna secure it though. You hold it while I descend. Oh yeah, and I'll just jump into your arms once you're down? Would that actually work? Maybe if you if you catch me instead? Hell no, it won't. We gotta set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Let's leave it by the window for now. Got carpet. Okay, we just need some, oh, the couch. Oh, I would not trust that. But this couch might work. Oh, what's this say? Okay. We don't have keys to these? What are, what are we gonna do? I don't have shit, bro. It's gonna lick her carpet. Oh no. We really have to go back upstairs? What do we have? What is, what is something heavy? Looks like someone gave up assembling their furniture. It's just your body. Thanks up for the heads up spectrum. These fucks. Oh no. What is that? Internet cut, bro. Spectrum outage reported. Oh, it's planned maintenance. Oh, good. Yeah, good warning. Oh, that's not us. All right. What? I already checked. There's nothing there. Super run a lady's bathroom, were you? I had to wash her blood off of me. Oh, right. Excuse accepted. Thanks. All right, so we need... Oh, we got the nail gun. Oh. Yeah, we just nailed the shit out of the carpet, I guess. I I don't know if i trust that. I would have to really, like, pull it down the hallway and put some weight on it. Oh, do you say that? Oh, you just say nail gun. All right, so we got it. The two of you used the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. What? It yeah, I would have nailed it to like the floor or the frame. I don't know. It doesn't look safe. There's got to be something else. I'm going for it. Nothing else. Maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. Sigh. All right, you first then. Damn right if I go, uh, I go first, I'm a lady. You climb down very unladylike. I'm, I'm out. Oh, we're both out. Oh, it's fenced in. Oh, we're good. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town and then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. Then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're gonna do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will we'll drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. I Even then, I don't think that's gonna... Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out, unless we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls, we'll eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. <laughs> oh my God. How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. I can do anything else but laugh. Everything has gone to crap. Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. We're out, bro. Is this it? I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there, too. And otherwise, I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. 
Oh, that's right. We can figure out what's going to happen to us. Do we even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It'd be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. Yeah, they might actually be able to get away with this. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh, yeah. Completely stuck. You get on a bus and drive the hell out of here. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. End of episode one. Want to save or something? No, fuck you. Wait, I do want to save. I, I'll, I'd also like to pick this. But let's say I'm not I, I'm not playing all that again for episode two. Oh, there's a bunch of autos. There's more? I thought episode two was a different game. Oh, hell no. All right, I'm getting off here for now. <laughs> I did not think there was no, I thought episode two was another game. You're finishing up what's left of your lunch. They have Halloween costumes up. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. Don't stop, I'm almost there. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds that there's something now are non-existent. Just let me check. Uh, how much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Oh my god. She burning the thing. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So no money then. I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. God damn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. True. Boo hoo, the motel is just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or is that just you? I haven't tried anything yet. Ah, what? I think I, let, I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish she'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. She left the gun in the motel they left? Or they're going back to? Hey, now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and seals the damn thing. We're going to have to fucking eat someone else or some shit. All right, well, I kind of want to see the motel. Shop. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's eat her, bro. Fuck off from there. Okay. Dark alley? Oh, shit. Mixed waste. Staff only says, and it's locked. She looks edible. Fuck off, Ad. I was jamming. Oh, no. Ad break ends in two minutes. I thought I had this shit set up where I could fucking get some shit, bro. I wish I had the ad notification better. If I put it right here, I can see it and snooze it. Why is it two minute ads? This should only be, I forgot how many ads per hour. But I cut it up. Circling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Unemployment office. And it's a club. Perfect. Oh, what is this? Alright. Where are we living at? And then you got run over by a car. Just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, I'm hungry right now. It's a bunch of call girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh my, maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash. And it'd be tax free to boot. Say another word and I'll backhand you. Jeez, learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass. You're so out there that I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. 
And would you honest to God back him me just like that? Well, not right here anyway. Wow. Okay, wife beater. Why are you laughing about that? No, I don't say that. It's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks? Bro, this game, they're fucked up. They're absolutely fucked up, bro. Alright, so I'm assuming we're upstairs. The new machine offers all kinds of enticing possibilities to waste your money on. She likes the abuse. Nice. Where's the gun? It's been hoarding newspapers every, ever since you arrived. Oh, I'm picking up. It's paper from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile written on it. Paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. Damn, bro. The papers that Chancer uses. All in all, a total waste of money. The closet is empty except for... Reclaimed your gun. Though it's not really yours anyway. But whatever. The warden's gun is yours now. Bro, who made this? It's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. Article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Oh, so there's other shit going elsewhere. Going on elsewhere. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. They won't let me. Oh, I thought that was a washer. Throw the laundry in the washer. All right. The shower is scuffed. Just gets all over the floor and shit. All right, what are we doing? All done. You're welcome. Oh, I have no way of saving. Man, try to use a fridge in the washer. I was, dude. It looked like the top ones. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're, you're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean, and I'm a feast on the eyes. Oh, no, it's happening, bro. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. Oh God, it's happening. You're not gonna be in the news, Andy. Oh God. That look, bro. What? I should have known. Uh, what are you gonna do about it, Andy? What happened? Gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are, I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname, get over yourself. Oh, the Andy. I didn't even catch it, I didn't even realize what he's mad. It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism, shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving, what more do you want? I'm being so good to you. <laughs> Spamming me into stuffing, I said I don't have internet. It wasn't me. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Probably just the win. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You wanna see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Oh God, go for it. They're gonna find me a lot less accommodating th than Andy. And now to some less important news. Uh-oh. One of the quarantined apartments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess. Better burned to the ground. Holy shit, they burnt that shit to the ground after they found that mess? Or did they just do it? Like, what? Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try our Toxa Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavor. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you meant to say to drink our trusty Bubbly Popply, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternative. Bro, it's that stew chance we had, bro. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later. <laughs> bleed out your ass, bro. <laughs> I can't even.
Oh my. Okay, tune in later for some more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? It was good. Was being the correct tense, indeed. Did I leave the oven on? Did I leave the oven on? No, no, I didn't do that. That was the other game. It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Yeah, they're actually free now. Well, they shouldn't be found either. But they must think we died too, and all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it'd all work out. The still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. They might be able to use their car, but I would you would have to test it, you know. I don't know. I'm just gonna save a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have some more information on the fire. Suit yourself. Is there a way to yeah, there is a way to save. Which better be sleeping in? Does it matter? There's no pillow. Oh. Okay. They're sleeping together, I bet. It's usually you fall asleep without a care in the world. Okay, the first clearance went. Maybe. Someone has entered the room. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, I'm about to I'm gonna have to kill this guy. What do I do? What do I do? The clothes, we're gonna check the laundry. Fuck, I can't. Wake up! We've gotta go. No, we're just killing well uh, get up. I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We gotta go now. What will I wear? Okay. What about the clothes? No, the clothes, bro. The clothes. Oh, fuck. Okay, whatever. I'm assuming we go left or right? Nah, that looks like the perfect spot for a guy to spawn. Park is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. Damn it, I should have went there earlier. Is he gonna be here? So I'm gonna stay here and see if the killer actually shows up. And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Angel lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, Mom. Makes you impotent, too, by the way. Didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? Oh, my God, bro. I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're going to kill an innocent person. It's like Halloween, too. They had decorations up. Oh, shit. It's a cultist. What? Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy you're expecting to come slit your throat. Yeah, the guy had sunglasses. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Yeah, what? Did that guy... Didn't we eat that guy? Don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. Did we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Actually, come on. Seriously, though. I guess there's more from where he came from. What the fuck? What do you suppose he was off to? Why, sex and drugs party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. Really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what this cultist lookalike is up to. 70 MBS. Damn, everyone's internet going out, bro. Oh, no. I was just like, just stop stream. Let me just wait 40 years for that to open now. Jesus. All right. Uh, Fine, you go. But come back soon. I'm going to get murdered here. Oh, I'm Andrew. All right, I'm going back to the house. So I get killed. 
Wait, can that actually happen? I'm saving. Can I? Nah. All right. Okay. That'd be crazy if you walked in. Wait. So I entered it back. Oh, good. You're not going after all. Wait, what? I am. I just... Do you see which way you went? Into the alley, right? All right. All right. Oh, fuck. I thought we were going to see something interesting. Holy shit. Okay. Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. Curse you, brats. What are they doing, bro? Pog. Internet actually back? Damn, that's actually quick maintenance, bro. They do that to me, it's fucking gone. Wait, when did that 666 get on there? Corp recycling apparently approved by the devil and the graffiti on the wall is anything to go by. All right, I guess I'm going in. It's asking for a passcode. Oh, well, I mean, what else would it be? Of course. I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. All right, what's going on down here? Oh, shit. Uh, what? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Uh, what is the correct answer here? This one? Is this the sex and demons party? Isn't this the demon sex party? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. Oh well, just regular demon summoning then. I mean, that's what I was told, but listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go, no harm done. Can't believe this, they literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. Pretty far from the home, though. Maybe they gather multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons, though? Can these guys? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You should decide... Oh, wait, what? You decide you should get inside somehow and find out. All right, so we have to break into the costume shop. Because clearly... We need that. Now you know where all the cultists get their extremely fashionable robes. Sadly, the shop is closed and you can't buy one right now. I mean, we could break in. All right. All done. Just checking to see if you're dead yet. No one has showed up. Maybe it was a vision from some other night? Though for leaving this morning, how could that be? It could happen. It could happen later on. Some nightmares are just that. I don't have nightmares. This is the first one ever. What, really? I have nothing but nightmares. Either way, I'm all good. Go back to snooping on the cultists. I don't know how to get in, though. They told me to get lost. Ah, I need a smoke. Go have it elsewhere. I've had enough of your secondhand smoke for tonight. All right, goodbye. I'll go get murdered in my apartment. My motel. Are they smoking in here? Smoking the bathroom? Oh, I go to the park. No, no, wait. Is that an ashtray? Right here? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Go smoke in the park, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I think going and smoke in the park is the, the correct answer. Why does she look so depressed? And him, too. I thought they were, they were doing better. Oh, I can't. Oh, we need some street lamp. Soft drink ad. No, for a fact, Ashley would love to try the limited edition caramelized apple and cinnamon flavor. Why the hell am I even looking at this right now? There's a million better things I could be doing. Well, we're going to read this one too. Are you tired of living? Inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. What? All right, is there a street lamp I can smoke under? I actually don't know where to go.
I don't think this game is this long at all. It's right for me. The mech. Oh, wait, what is this? Bio waste. Maybe you'll start eating out of here once your money runs out. Bio waste? The Megadeth album? Bio shit. What do I care where those clowns are to anyway? I always piss. You said that if, if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got employee key. I got into trouble for wearing that shirt in high school. Uh, I think I got in trouble for wearing it. Like a Christian band shirt or something. One time, too. I don't know what it was, though. Oh, shit, I'm in. I'm fucking in, bro. Top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups. The drabbest set of draper you have ever laid your eyes on. Smoke a cigarette on these stools, bro. Coffee? There's a crumpled note in the trash. It reads, stop eating my lunch, you animals. Someone has left the note. It reads, to whomever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Ah, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. Cake and a coffee dispenser. What's at the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. Oh shit, someone's coming. The voter's coming up. Oh, I'm hiding. I'm gonna hide down here. I don't know if I need... Oh, actual F. Internet's fucked. I couldn't tell you why either. What are my work computers on? Is my work computer on the internet? Because I feel like that's the issue. It's not. It's just the internet. I'm about to get off here soon now. Like, very shortly. Uh, this is going to take two trips. Oh, fuck. I'm in the wrong. Rumbling as he goes, the call just takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Oh, I'm going to hide in the car. My legs stop bleeding. What? Remove paper cups from the cart. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd also be seen instantly of the drapes. Pull down one of the curtains. Got curtains. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Oh, why didn't you like pick everything up and lay it over? Hmm. Yeah, this is new. He didn't notice this. Coldus hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Okay. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He carts you into the elevator. How's this car so much heavier than the other? Gas, could it be? The weight of my sins? No. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. Oh my God, he's actually stressing about that. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. Oh, he's stressing, bro. Did I miss it? Shh. Oh, something's about to pop off. Look at the guy, that old dude with the beard. I can't see anything from here. All right, I'm out, I'm out. I don't know how to peek without getting caught. Okay, there we go. Oh, there he is. Ahem. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first, all together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. They're gonna die. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. I'm already out without a coat. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna pass the fuck out. All right, good night, Straw. I'm about to get off here. I guess, I, I mean, fuck it. I guess I'll have to finish this. Why not? But it's coming increasingly clear nothing's gonna show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. I might actually summon something on her first try. So that's probably not a good thing, is it? Yeah, that's true. I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Oh, this guy's a fake, bro. He can't even summon fucking Lord Unknown. Um, I brought the cars down. 
But someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. The weight of his sins bears heavy. Oh, can we have some now? Sigh. Yes. Please enjoy yourselves. Oh, shit. Oh, you saw me. Strong had daylight saving time. Oh, fuck. When does that happen? My life's going to end when daylight saving time hits, bro. They need to abolish that shit. As long as they pick the time with more daylight. Because it does not. Because right now it gets dark at 6. When that shit hits, it's going to get dark at 5. Then it gets worse. It gets dark at f like 4 fucking 30, bro. I get off work. It's night out. What am I supposed to do? Where are your robes? Uh, sorry. The thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. Idiot. Damn, that was... November 5th. Oh. Oh. We don't do daylight savings here? Oh, fuck, bro. I hate it. I hate it, bro. It fucks it up. I get off, like, back when I used to get off work at 4, like, on the other side of town. Oh, let me try and go to the skate park. And by the time he got there in traffic, he, he got 15, 30 minutes to skate, if that. And then it takes 30 minutes to get there. It's just like, why even bother? All right, now that you've got your answers, you miss Ashley. I miss Ashley? Used to be eating cake to care. Wow, someone who's underdressed. You know what? I'll get a rope. These cheap asses offer milk for the. Also, the beer, they still taste like piss. Not that I've ever drank piss. Well, say something. Converse. They don't count. You racist. Jesus. Where did you hear about this gathering in the first place? The cult magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it here. Huh. What if I do the ritual? Yeah, they didn't do the candle. The candles aren't right, bro. That's why. They didn't do the, the thing right. Is gonna do a karaoke? I'm on a stage. It's like I'm famous. Oh, look at him go. She has begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. Oh, shit. Arizona isn't even a state. We're an oven. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, fuck. I wanted to steal a robe. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Oh, no. Look, man. You're ruining the whole vibe of that getup. Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like that, like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Um, uh, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Damn it. I'll, the dude went upstairs, though. Can I go? Oh, it's locked now. There's no other rooms? He came up this way, though. All right. So he dipped. And why is the herpes of the earth? Jesus. Oh my God, bro. Norway is the hard nipples. All right, I'm saving right here before something happens. How's she not dead? I have to look up how long it takes to save this game. Just double save here. Just keep saving. What other options you got? Run speed? Oh, run always? Oh, you can run? I had never ran this whole game. Wait, what is running? Oh, damn, you can haul ass. Okay, well, that's good. All right, goodbye. Goodbye for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually post this one to YouTube. I have all, every stream ever. I export them to YouTube immediately. I just never posted them. But I have all the Final Fantasy from the end of a... Uh... Fuck. I don't even remember the X-Pack. I have everything, though. Unless I, like, just forgot. But usually as soon as I close stream, I just hit export. So they're all there. So one day, when I go through it, I can upload, uh, you know, most of the stream and just have full playthroughs of games on there. It's oat milk. I don't know what the slash would be. 
404 not found. How do you get? I don't. I don't have an app. But or no, is it called milked out? Here, let me just switch into my. I have three subscribers. Oh my God! There's a new dig bar anthem. Booty touch anthem. Your channel. I don't know. How do you share a channel? This is my channel, I guess. Yeah, there's almost no videos on here, but uh, there's there's um there's just those because those are one shot vods, so I put them on there. Oatmeal 309. That sucks. I wish I could change that to oatmeal underscore oatmeal eight. Oh, I see it. I wonder if I could change that shit. But I want at some point I'm gonna go through and just start uploading and editing out what I need to. But they're all there though. But I'll probably put this one on there. Put it on there before uh, mainstream starts playing it, like Bob said, next week. When it catches on. Alright. Goodbye for now. Where's that? Where's that? Yes, this one. He doesn't have what he needs, bro. All right, goodbye for now. Goodbye. I'm gonna watch those clips again of me screaming, bro. <laughs> bro, fuck both those games. Actually, fuck both those games. Bro, yeah, that is so good, though. That's super good. I should do that for a follower, sub, or gifted. I add that sound in somewhere. Some unique thing. <laughs> That'd be sick. All right, goodbye. Thanks for hanging out. It was fun. <laughs> Fuck this game.